Hi everyone, I'm really excited to continue our poetry lessons this week. Um, today we're going to be diving in and finding out that poets use very precise and honest words when describing things in their poems. And I want to start by sharing a story with you about a time that I was really challenged to find just the right words to describe something. I have a friend and her name is Alex and she is blind. But one of her favorite things that she enjoys doing is going to the museum. So when I lived in New York, I used to take her to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and we would go around and look at the paintings together. Um, and the thing that I needed to do being her friend was to describe the paintings that we saw. And that was very challenging for me to find just the right words so that she was able to visualize it in her head. So when we would come to the still life paintings with flowers, instead of just saying, I see a flower, and it's red, I needed to be really specific and say, I'm seeing tulips and they're wilted or they're standing up tall. They're not just red, but maybe they're crimson instead of orange, it was saffron. So I needed to really think about those precise, honest words so that I could show, not tell what we were seeing when we were together. And so today I wanna to bring us to this uh, poet or this poem called Rabbits. And I want us to really, as I read it, I want you to be thinking about the words that are very precise and honest in the poem. So the poem is called Rabbits. I like the way they ramble out of hiding in the evening, daring to be seen, but staying far enough away for safety and feed along the grassy fringe. And hastily in peaceful thought, it seems. So this poet is describing seeing rabbits and instead of using certain words um, they're really diving in and finding the most precise words that uh, sort of bring this poem to life so I'm wanting I want to read it again and I want you to really think about what words are you noticing that the poet is using to describe certain actions or uh, or feelings or characteristics rabbits I like the way they ramble out of hiding in the evening daring to be seen but staying far enough away for safety and feed along the grassy fringe and hastily in peaceful thought it seems so for me i think the word ramble is a very honest and precise word that this poet chose to use instead of just saying walked the poet said what how else could i describe rabbits coming out of hiding they're rambling, they're slowly coming up. And I think another word for me that jumped out was this, the grassy fringe. So instead of just saying on the lawn or in the yard, the grassy fringe, you can really see along the outskirts of maybe a lawn. Another word was unhastily, in peaceful thought it seems. So unhastily to me, just that slowness, that that stepping back and being very slow and precise. So for me, those three words that the poet used really helped to bring this moment to life for me. And today, I'm going to challenge you guys in your writing. You can either choose to revise one of your older poems and think if you can come up with different words that are more honest and precise, or start a new poem. And as you're writing, really think through instead of using the word walk or sad, or uh, read, think if there's different words that you can use to really show, not tell, what you're trying to convey. I can't wait to see all of your poems. You guys are becoming such great poets.